Masker. Kaki berbau tapi hati suci From my previous video, I mentioned that Local Malays used to worship Dato' Keramat in 19th century, right? And some of you are asking Dato' Keramat tu apa? I have all the answer Dato' Keramat is not just one person There are different different type of Dato' Keramats in different forms Back then in the 19th century Primitive Malay used to practice worshipping nature and ancestor They would worship sacred places Unique looking stones Sacred tiger and crocodiles they worship the graves of magicians, the graves of Muslim saints, or living Muslim saints. It was said that all these Dato' Karamat that they worship, they all have mysterious powers and can perform miracles. If you're interested or raging dealer, you can go read this old ass research paper. <laughs> now you may be wondering, why is there a Kampong Dato Karamat in Ampa? Before this, the place was actually called Kampong Tangga China. From what I read from this TRP article, it shares that Sekitar akhir tahun 18,000 Beras apa? Tinggal seorang pendatang asing dari Sumatera Yang memelihara kuda dan beberapa ekor lembu And when this pendatang asing died, his kuda and lembu Kelihatan menggila dan tidak menerima makanan dan minuman Later on, the animal slept beside his grave and died too the locals saw this and believed that this pendatang asing is suci. So they call him Dato Karamat because Karamat means suci. Wow! They started praying to his grave. The Chinese built a shrine for his grave and call it Karamat Tangga China. People would say, I nak pergi kampung Dato Karamat. And then the name kind of stuck around for so long until they finally officially changed the name of the place to Kampung Dato Karamat. Learn more, more smart.